India, Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And I say, I am self-reliant. Yes, I see progress in India when goods are manufactured in India, processed in India, and marketed in India. A developed India by 2030 is not just a dream in the minds of many Indians. It is not just a vision, but it is a mission we can all take up and succeed. Yes, 2020 has been a dark year for all of us, and India has been fighting a lot this year, and the two major battles, and one against the COVID-19, the pandemic, and the other is the economic crisis situation. In this scenario, the government, the central government has launched a package of 20 lakh crores, which has been established on May 12, 2020. And this package mainly utilizes 10% of the total gross domestic product, that is the GDP of India. Atma Nirbhar Bharat is basically Make in India version 2.0. And I say that this is very beneficial. And it focuses on the concept of Vasudhaika Kutumbam. And I believe that this program is not anti to other foreign countries. It is not just going anti to other foreign goods, but it is producing our own goods, producing indigenous products and marketing them in our own place, which will lead to development and progress. Well, India has been striving to achieve the self-development and independence since 1947. Since independence, we are striving for it. This idea called self-sustainability has always been in the heart of our nation. And definitely, during the war of independence, it is Mahatma Gandhi who urged all the Indians to use the Khadi clothes, the Swadeshi clothes, and the indigenous goods which were being very well processed during the Swadeshi movement of 1920s. Well, after so many years, our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi ji, again addressed the nation, stating that here we have this Atma Nirbhar Bharat achieving self-reliability and self-sustainability, where India stands independent among all the global nations. And according to this, he stated and quoted saying, local for vocal. This statement has entered the entire nation. Well, he has also told people, don't be afraid of this COVID-19. Take it as an opportunity. Take it as a step where we have established five basic principles of this Atmanirbhar Bharat. They are the pillars of this Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. One is economy. Second is the infrastructure. Third is using technology in the system, demography, and fifth is nothing but the demand. So using all these five things, we are going to build a nation with standard foundations. Well, this budget is being distributed to different sectors of the society. And this is done by the finance minister, Srimati Nirmala Sita Raman. So different basis has been divided and the criteria has been given. Now I would like to throw some light on the few major and the significant points which are being stressed in this Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Well, the first point, most of it is given to the MSMEs, which is the micro, small and medium industries. So these have been allotted 3 lakh crores of rupees for their development because these small scale industries and textiles actually provide livelihood and employment to thousands of families. And I'm proud as a person of Andhra Pradesh, as Narendra Modi himself has addressed about the well-developed industry in Andhra Pradesh, that is the Kondapalli toys in one of his monkey bath sessions. This is a proud movement for all of us. Well, these MSMEs are given a time limit of 12 months, where in these 12 months, they need not pay any EMIs to the government. They can make use and utilize all the given essentialities and the given funds from the government. And these are only applicable to the indigenous goods and not to the foreign products. So therefore, all of us will tend to buy Indian goods on the national or the foreign products. Well, the second most important is the Pradhana Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana or the package is also involved in this Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. And under this, a lot of points are actually included. The first thing, the government has given an insurance of 50,000 to all the frontline workers, medical representatives who have been carefully working and taking care of all of us during these tough times. And the second thing, all the women who are actually involved in this gender movement are given a rupees 500 every month. 
And the third point, all the self-help groups are actually getting collateral free money up to 10 lakhs earlier, but now it is increased to 20 lakhs. So now all these self-help groups, the women who are 10 to 12 living in a particular village can take and make use of this money and bring it a lateral progress. There are people who are preparing masks, sanitizers, and several other things which are making India more sustainable. And the fourth important thing that I would like to quote here is, it is also giving Pradhan Mantri Kisan Yojana and because of this, it is giving 2,000 to each and every farmer where the farmer can use it for his agricultural needs. And the other thing is, it is also giving 1,000 rupees for all the women. It is an excretia which is declared for women, for physically handicapped people. And the next thing that I would like to focus here is the financial status. The Reserve Bank of India has actually announced a package of 3 lakh crores. Now there is a single question, which is a million dollar rupee question. Even though the RBI has actually announced a big package, we are not at all seen in the great scenario. Why? To understand this, I would like to explain the banking scenario. How does banking system work in India? Actually, the banks take money from RBI at interest of 4 to 6 percent and they give it to the consumers, that is the normal people, for 10 to 12 percent and they get the profits. Now, what is the main reason for actually establishing this program called Atma Nirbar Abhiyan? Why is there a need to set up this program? The reason is, because of this COVID-19 situation, we don't have money in our hands. So the common man is not purchasing goods. So without goods, there is no companies, and without companies, there is no development and no economy. So to improve the entire economy and to Nirbar Abhiyan has been focused. And again, another important point is the EPFs which is actually giving to all those people who are working in the government sectors. So people who are getting salaries below 15,000 are actually given a concession where they have to pay or cut their salary for 12% from the employee and 12% from the employer, which adds up to 24%. But now they need not worry because the government will pay the entire amount. But what is with the people who are earning above 50,000? So these people need not pay the 12%, but it is reduced to 10% where 2% goes into their own pocket. So the economy is slightly increasing in small, small sectors. And the other thing that I would like to focus is the government has given a lot of improvement and assurance to mostly agricultural goods and Pradhan Matri Matsya Sampada Yojana where it is giving the fishermen some funds and also to the animal dairy technologies. We know that India is the number one producer of milk in the world. It is the third largest producer of eggs and second largest producer of meat. So we should be proud of it. So government still wants to give emphasis and give it a large amount of significance where funds are released, where people can work on it. Also, power. The discom companies, these discom companies play a major role in our society. We can't even imagine a single day without electricity. But in these COVID-19 times, the electricity consumption has gone down to a drastic scale. So the telecom or the discom companies are finding it very difficult to provide electricity at a cheap cost. So it is always the consumer who will be affected. And we have also seen recently the electricity bills have very well increased. So the government has also given a fund of 90,000 crores to relieve the stress on these discom companies. Well, after all these things, the TDS and the TCS, that is the tax detected at source and tax collected at source has been reduced to 25% so that it is very helpful for all the common people. And the last and the final thing is the effect on contractors. The contractors have taken a lot of projects between this COVID-19 situation and they were unable to complete it because of lack of resources, lack of money and what not. So the government has taken an initiative and given funds. It has extended the time limit to six more months where all these contractors can work and extend. And they were also given loans based on the work that is done till now. Well, this is all about Atma Nirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. But what has the youth to do in this? 65% of the Indian population is young and nurtured and dynamic. And it's really pathetic to say that we are still a developing country in spite of having so much exuberant youth. Why? The reason is this Atma Nirbhar Bharat. And that is why the lack of Atma Nirbhar Bharat is because that is leading to that of this unemployment, poverty, and whatnot. Everyone has to stand independent. 
Now I would like to say the era of startup. These startups have actually revolutionizing this entire society today. We have seen a lot of changes taking place, especially in this 21st century. A lot of companies came up. A 12 year old kid from Maharashtra is a CEO of 12 companies and is giving employment to over 500 people. And this I say is called Atmanirbhar Bharat. And this I say is called self-sustainability. And this I say is called self-reliability. And yes, I say, I would like to relate the startup story with just a small incident. There is an IIT graduate, IIT Delhi, and he went to a cafe and he was waiting for the menu list and have seen all of them waiting for the menu list. And it is when he got an idea and then kept this menu list onto online website. It's after a few days, it grew and it was extended to various other states. And today that we call it as Zomato, which is the well-established and the well-successful startup in the entire nation. Along with it, we have Swiggy, we have Ola, we have Paytm. Now almost all the bank transactions are without direct contact because of this Paytm. This is called self-sustainability. One man with courage will make the majority. So let that one man be me, you, he, she, and each and every one of us present here. It's not just the government, it's not just us. It is the sole responsibility of all of us to combine together, to work together. We, the youth, the young generation are the torch bearers for this entire enlightening India. And we have to take up the responsibility onto our shoulders. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? It is the responsibility of every citizen, every individual, every student to, to take this onto our shoulders. It is not just India's economy, but it is our economy. It is every individual's economy. Atmanirbhar Bharat is not just for India, but Atmanirbhar Bharat is for me, for you, for he, she, and each and every one of us present here. Let's all stand together and build up a nation with pulsating foundations. Let us make an India which, is, which will survive, sustain, and thrive as a developing, independent, integrated India. And I'm proud to be saying that India will be one among the finest countries with the fastest growing economy in the top 10 countries in the coming progressing world. So, I would like to conclude by saying that it is the responsibility of each and every citizen. Even an entire journey will start with a single step. So let that first step be ours. Let we bear the entire responsibility on our shoulders and make this India rich and humble. It is not just the responsibility of the government, but the sole responsibility of each and every citizen in this entire nation who would like to see development, who would like to see what is the vision India and the mission India. We have always set these goals, Vision India, Mission India, but nothing has accomplished till now. But we will see the developed India in the future years to come. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Thank you and God bless.